Welcome ladies and gentlemen, and today I have a story for you guys. Today's the day Jake Paul goes toe to toe with Tommy Fury. And if you don't know who Jake Paul is, well, he is a social media influencer turned boxer actually. And to, go, and to be honest, I haven't seen any of his fights, and I may watch his fight against Tommy Fury. Oh yes, he is related to the Tyson Fury, of course. Jake Paul record right now is 6 wins with 1 loss and the 1 loss was due to a decision. On the other hand, Tommy Fury boxing record is 9-0. He is undefeated at the time of me recording this. Well, will he stay undefeated? I have no idea. Obviously, the time you see this video, you'll have the answer, right? I have the answer too. There was an exclusive interview by Mirror News by Jake Paul on his mindset leading to possibly his biggest match so far no he asked for he, he did take a picture with me he was a fan of logan and i and what's really funny about that story actually is he posted the picture with logan and then a year later deleted it but it was still somewhere on the internet he didn't post the one with me but the picture is there and i had like someone in secrecy try to get it like going undercover to try to get the person to send it to him mm -hmm. the person who had the picture and they wouldn't do it um but tommy's a fan that's what's crazy about this whole entire thing i actually forgot about it up until this moment because we get so wrapped up in the beef but he asked me for a picture i'm guessing not all of jake paul fan base are all kids interesting enough that's funny, because you are about to participate in a match against a professional boxer, but also a fan all at the same time. What a twist, right? I'm going to play the rest of the clip so you can gauge his mindset leading into the fight, and I'll just comment afterwards. For a picture, ask Logan for a picture in, the, in Ricky Hatton's gym before the Deji fight. It's crazy to think how far you've come since then. It's only been, what, five years, and you're now, you know, headlining multiple pay-per-views, and I mean, that was like a co-main event, and on your brother's undercard, and this is very much your own thing, and you've... You've really built something special. Yeah, it's crazy, man. We were uh, just talking about it this morning. It's like we've came such a long way um, from <laughs> one amateur fight to stepping up the level of opposition fight by fight by fight and continuing to challenge myself and fight a lot of times. I'm, I'm more active than a lot of pro boxers, which is, which is crazy. Um, but... You don't get paid for sparring, so I'm like, hey, if I'm going to be doing this, then why not? Why not just get in there and, and uh, make big fights happen? And I've always stepped up to the plate, took in on every opponent, every person they said I wouldn't go up against, and I think a lot of fighters don't do that. Uh, so I'm trying to change the mold in that sense. What do you think of this WBC ranking they're offering you? If you beat them, you're going to be, the report was maybe top 15. They've denied that, but you will be a, a ranked WBC cruiserweight, let's say. Yeah, I think it's, I mean, it's it's cool, I guess. Um yeah, <laughs> the, the rankings don't matter to me, I guess. I'm already a, a champion in my mind and in my heart and in my soul. Um, so if they want to put a number on me, then then that's great. But I will say, look at your favorite pro boxer. Think of your favorite pro boxer right now and go and look at their seventh fight and see who they fought. It wasn't an undefeated guy. It wasn't yeah. a top prospect. So I'm challenging myself more than any of the legends I have, more than Tyson, more than Muhammad Ali in their seventh fight, more than Floyd Mayweather in their seventh fight. Go and look who they fought. It was taxi drivers. So in that sense, I, I think the ranking is deserved. Nate Diaz is, a, is an option after this. Carl Froch maybe. And of course, KSI seems to want to do this later on. Can you even allow yourself to think about these things or, or are you laser focused on Sunday night? Um, no, I think about these things, honestly. I think in boxing, people are like, don't look past your opponent. But then that just means that you truly don't believe you're going to win. So I, I know I have to go in there on Sunday and perform, but like, I don't see myself not doing that. So I do schedule these things. I'm a right, businessman. The man. interview was getting uh, kind of boring. <laughs> But basically, the interviewer asked him questions about the fight, knowing that Tommy Fury was a fan of his before the fight ever started, like all this beef and beginning, and him being a professional ranked player. You know, given his YouTube his YouTube persona, he seems to be level-headed about the situation. Maybe he, maybe he is telling the truth, that he's number one in his heart, soul, and mindset. Just now looking at the venue, the location is in Saudi Arabia, which is pretty cool. I, I've never been. Maybe, hopefully, I can be there sometime. Okay, so this is post-editing, and I just found out that Jake Paul lost to Tommy Fury via a split decision like two hours ago. Literally me recording this, this just happened. Uh, 
out, Fury came out of the gate aggressively, which led quickly to the first clinch of the fight. The clinches would have been the major part of the bout. So many clinches happen during the fight. A clinch is where you fighting, punching someone, and you grab them to hold them up either to break their aggressiveness or maybe because you're tired, you want a couple, a couple seconds of breather. There's many different reasons, but that's just a general sense. Kind of like a hug in some way. So many clinches happened during the fight, the referee had to get involved numerous times to break it. So much so, it became the story. Yeah. So if you haven't already, go watch the fight and see how it goes. At me personally, I haven't watched it yet. Obviously, I'm recording the video. <laughs> But if you have already, let me know what you think. Do you believe Jake is ready for more of the big dogs in the sport of boxing? Or should you just stay in his lane? You know, just be a celebrity boxer. He did say, the interviewer, interviewer did say that if he wins or not, whatever, he's going to fight Nate Diaz and maybe KSI. But I guess we'll see. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. This is Prime Excellence. Peace.